Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is Doomlings, a two to six player game that takes 20 to 45 minutes to play and is for ages 10 and up. In the game Doomlings, you are going to go through three eras of play, where on your turn you're going to be playing down little Doomling monsters that hopefully will work simultaneously together. Each turn, each player is going to play a card, they're going to stabilize, and they're going to rinse and repeat until the era ends, in which case we'll check to see what happens. Sometimes Sometimes it'll be a catastrophe, other times it'll just be the end of an era. After the game is fully gone through, all the different eras have been met, all the cards have been revealed, and the final catastrophe has taken place, you'll calculate your score and see who has the most points in front of that player, and that player will win the game. We'll talk about the setup, how to play, and of course, my review. All right, so let's go ahead and set up the game Doomlings. Now, firstly, if you have player mats, give one to each player, and then take the main mat and place it in the middle of the table within reach of all players. From there, you're gonna make the Birth of Life stack. How that works is you will take three age cards and one catastrophe, and you will shuffle them up in the form one pile. And then you're gonna do this two more times. So you should have three stacks of cards, three ages, and a catastrophe in each one. Shuffle them up individually, and then place one on top of the other, followed by the Birth of Life card being on top. Then take all the trait cards you have. You can play all the expansions, some of them or none of them, it really doesn't matter. Just make sure that you have a big stack of Doomling traits and place them down. These cards uh, stacks can be next to each other, and if you have the player mat, it'll explain where you place them. Then, give each player a stabilization card. This should have a card that has a number of 1 to 4 on one side and a 5 to 8 on the other. Then, give each player a reference card. If you're playing with the Meaning of Life expansion, you'll give two of these cards to each player playing the game. Set aside any extra um, different cards, such as extra ages, the more meaning of life, stabilization cards, and expansion cards. You will not need those. All you're going to need is the two stacks in the middle of the table, a stabilization card, your specific turn reference card, and two meaning of life cards. From there, you're basically ready to begin the game. Okay, so how to play? Well, first you need to determine a first player. You can do that by throwing the big Doomling Pushy in the air and the first person to catch it starts, or any way that you so choose. Then, after you've done that, go ahead and take your Meaning of Life cards, each player, and look at them. Choose one of them, place it on your board, and set the other aside. You will not be utilizing it. This is a bonus card that will score you bonus victory points at the end of the game if you meet its conditions. Then, you're going to have that first player take the Birth of Life card and place it down face up in the first era marker area, or just to the right of the age deck. From there, it will explain that you're going to need to set your gene pool to 5. So you'll take that and place it to 5. Then, each player is going to draw 5 cards from the deck of traits. Once you have done that, it'll follow what the card says to do. And in this case, you're just playing one trait each turn, and then at the end of your turn, you will stabilize. So the first player will begin the turn. Now, each player will take a turn, and they will pass, and you move around the table. And once everybody has done that, then the first player will flip over a new age card. On your turn, you're going to first start by selecting one Doomling, or a trait, and placing it face up on your field. Once you have done that, then you're going to do any effects that the trait might have. Some traits don't have effects, some do. There's a variety of different traits that will function in different ways, which I'll explain in my review. But for the most part, just place one and your playing field. Then, stabilize. Stabilizing is a little different. Normally in a lot of these card games, you'll draw a card, and at the end of your turn, you'll you know, discard down to hand size. In this case here, you don't draw until the last step. Play a card activate the card if you can, and then stabilize. Stabilizing is going to let you draw cards or discard cards from your hand up until the point where you get to your gene pool number. In this case, it is five. So right now, I'm playing a card and then drawing a card, but this can change throughout the game. Once you have stabilized, your turn is over, and the next player will begin. They're going to play a card from their hand, activate its effect, and then stabilize and pass. Rinse and repeat until all players have taken their first turn. Once that happens, the first player will take the age card and flip it over on the first age section. Look, it's Comet Shower. Discard a card from your hand at random, and everybody will do this. You'll take your cards, discard one at random into the discard pile, and then begin your turn. Now, like I said, you don't draw. Instead, you will play a card. Check to see if there's an effect. Take the effect, and then stabilize back to the number on your gene pool, which is five. So I'll get two this time. Go around the table and rinse and repeat. Take a new age card, reveal it, and do what it says. 
players can no longer play colorless traits this round. That's okay, I'll just simply go ahead and play a Branches card. Now, each of these cards here has a unique color. I've been showing you green ones, you might be seeing some difference on the B-roll, but there are also blue and purple, and they're also red. Uh, these cards each have unique trait colors, they have unique abilities and effects. Each of the cards will have unique little symbols that explains what they do and how they function. Sometimes they come into play and do an effect, other times they will affect the end of the game, and sometimes they are going to be long-lasting effects. So this card gets plus one for each blue card that you have. This card is valued based on the number of cards you have in your hand, etc, etc. Another thing to note too in playing the game is that there are two dominant traits that you may have on your field at any given time. Dominant traits are special Doomling cards that have a yellow border. They're going to look like this Symbiosis card here. The Symbiosis card is a card that says you get plus two for every trait in your lowest color count. Must have two or more colors, and if there's a tie, you pick one. So if I have three red, blue, and green, and then I have two purple, this will give me plus four. Two plus two equals four, and it'll be on top of the three that I already have, giving me seven points for Symbiosis at the end of the game. And of course, like I said, you can only have two dominant traits. If you ever lose one, you can gain one back, but if you already have two, you cannot play another one. And so that's mainly all the rules for playing the different uh, traits and doomlings. But the last thing to cover is as the rounds progress and new cards come out, eventually what's going to happen is a catastrophe. When the catastrophe happens, you're going to follow the whatever it might be. In this case, it says you get minus one to your gene pool, which means that you go from five, you flip the card over and go to four. So now you're gonna have less cards in hand. And then you're going to pass the first player marker, the first player squishy, whatever first player you have in mind, to the next player, to the player, the first player's left. They are now going to be the starting player for the ages after this round is um, ended, in which case they'll go to the second era and start flipping cards every round up until a new catastrophe. Eventually what will happen is you're going to draw cards up until you get to the third catastrophe. This could be the last card in the deck, it could be third, second, or fourth from the last. Basically though, whatever happens on the third catastrophe is going to be a world's end. The world's end effect is what is triggered here. You're gonna go ahead and uh, for each colorless trait, it's now gonna be worth two and you'll ignore all other colorless trait effects, in, uh, excluding dominance. So something will change about the game in that way. Once that happens, that card gets revealed, the game is over. You'll calculate all the points that you have on the field. Each Doomling has a point value on the bottom left. It might have an ability or a passive ability or a unique world's end effect that will trigger and give you additional points if you are able to meet the conditions. Also, don't forget to check your dominance. That'll give you points as well. And finally, your meaning of life card. This is your objective card. And if you meet the requirements, like for this one, it says plus three if you have only one or two colorless traits in your trait pile, six points if you have none. You will score these points in addition. Tally up your points, everybody else will do the same, and whoever has the most is the winner of the game, Doomlings. Yep, it's that simple. Pretty simple game, but there's a lot of combinations, and we're gonna talk about them. Doomlings is a play and pass tableau management card game. Yep, it's pretty simple. You're just you're playing a card, activating its effect, and then drawing back to your gene pool and then passing. You'll rinse and repeat, new things will pop up from time to time, round effects, catastrophes will trigger, and then you're just gonna score at the end of the game. It's a really basic, non-complex game when it comes to play. But what makes Doomlings so different than a lot of these other very basic take that or like small type of card games is that the amount of combinations that this game can form is almost unlimited. There are so many unique things that you can do with Doomlings and how they interact with each other that the game is fresh and interesting each time you play. Each of the Doomlings have beautiful artwork, they're really unique characters, and their designs are wonderful. It feels fun to play them, and sometimes choosing a Doomling early that might not be so beneficial now can become useful later. And the cards that and how they in tandem work together, or protect you, they can sometimes protect your hand, sometimes protect your field, prevent you from being stolen from, or help you steal from somebody else. There's a lot of unique aspects to the Doomlings. Each Doomling is unique, and there's a big stack of cards here representing all the unique Doomlings, and all their various traits that they have. Being able to steal a trait with a face value of zero or one from an opponent's trait pile and play its action whenever you play this binary doomling is gonna be very, very useful. Or maybe I play the freakish eyes, lets me draw three cards, 
but an opponent also draws a card, and it's also worth two points, giving me more points, now, uh, or cards, but, you know, I have to stabilize, so I will be discarding cards. Sometimes you'll get to pull from the discard pile in certain ways, and that will allow you to utilize these cards as well, so there's a ton of unique aspects to the game. Not to mention that this is the Deluxe Edition. I did review this game when I first got it quite a while ago. It was a tiny little box. It looked like this. This was the game in comparison to what it is now. Uh, but now they've added a bunch of extra cards. There's a deluxe edition, they added foil packs, like actual booster packs, and then they have expansions like the Techlings, the uh, Dinolings, the Mythlings, the Mini of Life expansion, which I'll cover in a second. Uh, there are also unique effects that take place now, like Techlings, for instance. Techlings have a little gear symbol that means that whenever you play them, you can attach them to your, your specific Doomlings or another Doomling. So they can kind of like attach from one Doomling to another and give that Doomling some type of effect maybe changing its color or its value, maybe stealing it from another player. They are all kind of unique in their own way. Additionally, these little expansions will also give you additional age cards and catastrophe cards that you can utilize in the game. They are fun little expansions. None of it's needed. The gameplay is great all on its own in its basic form, but if you just want more Doomlings, more different unique combinations of types of traits that function in different ways, then it's definitely not something to shy away from. What's also great too is, yes, the Mini Life Expansion. This is a nice little end objective thing that you're going for. And you can kind of see what players are doing as they go throughout the game and what cards they're trying to gather. And you can kind of mess them up as well. This one meaning that I don't want to have a lot of colorless traits on my stack. Some of them are I want to have one specific color. There's a variety of different cards, plus three for each set of all four colors, red, green, blue, and purple. So if I get red, green, and blue, and purple, it's plus four points. And for each time I do that, it's another four points. Three points for three to five blue and six points if I have six or more. Maybe I'm going for effectless traits or um, red traits, having a hygiene pool, having action cards in my pool, et cetera, et cetera. And these all work in tandem with the cards that you wanna play in your hand. It feels great playing cards in this game. Sometimes you'll have a lack of choice, sometimes your gene pool will go low, people can fiddle with you and mess with you, but there's a variety of ways that change the game and kind of put, your, put yourself back into the winning. Now, now, it's not like you're gonna win every game, but what I promise is that you're gonna have fun every single game. There's not a game of Doomlings I have played, regardless of whether I win or lose, that I did not enjoy myself. Love the art, love the quality, love the stylization of the game, love the age cards and how they kind of interact with my game board and the unique catastrophes that damage everybody and it feels bad. It feels like you're going through the ages of this unique little Doomling world and these guys are all just crying, kind of trying to survive playing themselves out and working together in order to kind of create their little, their little own like landscape atmosphere. Let's talk about the deluxe stuff too. There is the boards, which are completely not needed at all, but they're awesome. And they give a lot of examples as to where everything goes. You feel like you have your own separate play space, your own environment where you're playing duelings out, how and where you can turn your gene pool over and rotate it to additionally gain or lose gene pool. This little meaning of life is an excellent addition to the game. It's very simple, very straightforward. A lot of games do it, but this one, it works really well in. And even the turn reference is wonderful. It explains each of the steps of your turn, which are so simple, right? But just in case you forget, I guess, you won't need this probably after the first game or so. How catastrophes work. Move your first player uh, position to the left. Adjust your gene pool if it says to. And if it's the third catastrophe, you'll resolve the world's end and resolve the world's end effects and end the game. It explains how scoring works. And on the back, it explains all the unique effects and abilities that come on your doomlings. I love really great cards that explain everything in a game. And this does a wonderful job of that. High quality mats, beautiful, vivid colors. Uh, this is the super ultimate deluxe edition, which comes with this wonderful uh, wooden box, which also comes with sleeves, which I will be sleeping at some point and of course it never hurts to have cute little plushies and whatnot for the game itself this guy is really cute and my wife likes to cuddle with it but yes overall Doomlings is an excellent game I love the combinations I love the cards there's pretty much nothing I don't like about this game other than you have to know this game can be random sometimes you'll get screwed sometimes you will not come in first place and you probably could drop scores it has a huge swing to it on the occasion 
but it feels like all your choices matter. And that to me is what matters in a game like this that has that kind of take that feel, has that kind of tableau management feel. So overall, this game gets like a 9.5 out of 10. There's just a few small feel bad moments, but overall, one of my favorite card games that I have ever played. So check it out. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Doomlings. If you're interested in picking this game up, there is a link down below in the description. You can pick up the huge deluxe super fancy uh, bundle or you can go for a smaller game. Honestly, you will have fun no matter what you pick up. It's one of those things where you can pick up something small and if you guys see play in your playgroup, it sees a lot of play, grab some more of this stuff. I was excited to get additional content because I had played my prototype, my tiny little box, 15, 20 times at least before jumping into this one and I play a lot of games so I don't have time to constantly play the same game over and over again but that's how much I enjoy Doomlings. Oh, I didn't actually mention this but this is getting my seal of approval. I think I gave it last time. I'm not sure. I think I did. Either way, it's hands down getting my seal of approval. This is a game I'm going to be keeping for a very long time and I'll be playing it especially with new gamers, families, and friends. That's pretty much it guys. If you appreciate our videos, if you watch more than one of our videos here and there, consider giving us a like like, a subscribe definitely helps, and of course hitting the button so you can see more videos from time to time of us showing off content like Doom Links here. Our live stream is every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST, and we have a whatnot on Wednesdays at 6.30. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I look forward to creating a Doomling universe with you next time.